It's a real honor to have been invited to be part of the great debate this year. The reason for the great debate is that there are two new FDA approved therapies for lupus kidney disease, lupus nephritis. This is tremendously important. At the ACR meeting, Dr. Ram Singh will be presented at the plenary. His data from the CDC Wonder database that deaths from lupus nephritis increased from 2015 to 2019. This is a huge unmet need in lupus. Right now, we've just been using mycophenolate predominantly. We have two new therapies, boglosporin and bulimumab. And the purpose of the great debate is to help rheumatologists understand these two new treatments and when to adopt them. My opponent in the great debate is Dr. Brad Rovin, who's a nephrologist from Ohio State University. I was chosen to be the proponent of bulimumab. Bulimumab was approved by the FDA over 10 years ago for non-renal lupus. I would have been just as happy to have been chosen to be the proponent for vocal sporin. My view of this great debate is I want rheumatologists to feel very comfortable with the pros and cons of both of these new approvals so they can make an informed choice for each patient on an individual basis. Some of the points I brought up about bulimumab were that it has the ability to protect the glomerular filtration rate, meaning kidney function. This is something that calcineurin inhibitors like baclosporin do not do. Secondly, I brought up the benefit that bulimumab has for extra renal lupus. 30% of people with lupus nephritis will have other organ involvement and the calcineurin inhibitor cannot help the other organ involvement. Third, I really emphasize the long safety profile for bulimumab. In particular at this year's ACR meeting, there will be an abstract presented that bulimumab did not increase serious or fatal infections in an analysis that combined all the bulimumab trials. In addition, bulimumab is not thought to increase malignancy. These are all very important issues when a patient may need to be on a therapy very long-term. However, in contrast, I did not take away from the voclosporin data that shows that one year into treatment, voclosporin has a greater reduction in proteinuria than bulimumab has. So again, each individual rheumatologist will have to weigh the pros and cons. I thought the great debate was a lot of fun because it was so wonderful to be paired with Brad Rovin, who is a longtime friend and has been instrumental in getting these lupus kidney trials done. <music>